Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. 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 Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he said, and he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet and testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our gospel today is the commissioning, commissioning of the twelve and sending them with power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And we are the modern, the new disciples of Christ in our baptism, in our reception of the sacraments, in every attendance of the Mass, at the end of the Mass, go, proclaim. It's always commissioning. At the end of the Mass, it's always commissioning. Go. After you receive the Lord, you hear the Word, proclaim the Word. And at the end of the Mass, go. Go in peace. Proclaim the love and peace of Christ. And so this is the invitation for us in our gospel today to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick, to have authority over all demons. We might not experience um, horrible demons in our lives, but there are many evil going around in the world today. And this is the challenge for us to be the disciples of Christ. The the be, at the middle of the the gospel, he said to them, "Take nothing for the journey. It's about trust. Trust in the Lord always." Take nothing for the journey. Trust in me. I will provide for your needs. And at the last part of the gospel, whatever you house you enter, stay, stay there. And for those who don't welcome you, when you leave the town, shake the dust from your feet and testimony against them. For those who do not welcome you, for those who reject you, Shake the dust and testimony against them. The Lord summoned, admonished the disciples to also reject the rejection. Not reject the people, but shake the rejection. Shake the feeling of being rejected. Shake the dust. Do not be affected because we are always be rejected in the in our journeys in our lives right but shake the dust shake that feeling shake that rejection and continue 
move on. Do not dwell on it. Because if you dwell on that rejection, you will be affected with your mission. That's what the Lord is asking us also in our mission in life. Sometimes, day to day, we are rejected. We are feeling uh, depressed, feeling uh, not welcome, feeling unaccomplished because of things we could not do, or things we could not achieve, or things or people do not want. But the Lord said, continue. Shake that feeling of rejection. Reject the rejection. Amen. Amen. So we continue to ask the intercession of Padre Pio as we continue our day-to-day -day lives. As the Lord always commission us outside. The most common and easy to memorize words of Padre Pio there are many beautiful words from Padre Pio, but the easy, the easy ones is always in my mind. He said, pray, hope, and do not worry. That's easy. Simple words, but very deep. Pray, hope, do not worry. The same with our, with our gospel today. Pray, have relationship with me, hope, and trust in me, and do not worry. We hope and pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.